What's up, y'all? Sports Live and ATL David here. Uh, just checking back in with you. Uh, my channel is going to continue to go through some even more drastic changes, so I hope you guys enjoyed and are enjoying what I'm about. I'm going to show you, continue to show you a different side of myself uh, moving forward, and uh, look forward to the changes and the people that I come and interact with. Uh, so, you know, look for some more plug videos very soon. Thanks for the kind words that I've been getting. Uh, LOL, see, Jobu, LOL, blonde. Uh, make sure you check her, her channel out. She did a little nice picture of me, for me, actually. Wow. Beautiful young woman. And she's got the shades on in it. Just awesome. And she's very loyal to my channel. Again, Maxi Van Joy. I cannot, I cannot plug those two enough. Um, and those two have been really uh, inspirational to my to my video my, my channel whether it be through motivation or just pure entertainment and I appreciate those two dearly um, 44 legendary a fizzle productions very loyal to my channel all these years BBD very loyal to my channel there's a lot of you out there uh, again Angel Sky and the five kids cannot I got to continue to plug her channel Willie will eats I want to plug his channel um, there's a lot out there, and, I, and I'll try to get to some of you guys down the road. Uh, this video is about the Atlanta Braves and where we stand right now. Right now, we all know that the Braves have bullpen issues. Luke Jackson is not the answer. Uh, Webb is not the answer. Um, Newcomb is not the answer. We need help. Um, because the way that this team is constructed offensively, we are World Series championship potential. Uh, over the weekend, we, we continue to score runs. We have now a six and a half game lead over the Phillies, eight and a half over the Washington Nationals. Mets way out of it, and the Marlins, well, we know are way out of it. Thank you, Marlins, for sweeping Philadelphia. Appreciate it. But the Braves have such an opportunity here. Now, I don't know if Liberty Media or the mindset of the Braves office early in the year was like, hell, we, I don't know, we got some decent talent. We'll see what we can do. But if you if you can't tell by now that you, your team has a legitimate chance. Uh, win the World Series, then you're then something's wrong with you. Granted, the team that stands in our way is the Dodgers. We still got to finish this division off. You know, six and a half game lead. I've seen many leads get away, but if the Braves do what they're supposed to do, they'll win this division and make it to the playoffs for the second straight year and be two-time champions of the division, the National League East. And like I said, this reminds me of the Braves in the '90s. But you have to add a piece to the bullpen. You have to have somebody that's going to close games. Luke Jackson is not the answer. Um, the Braves potentially could have a massive amount of players representing them in the All-Star team, All-Star game coming up in Cleveland. Uh, I do know that when I went to the website, I saw, now I could be wrong, but um, Brian McCann, Nick Markakis, Josh Donaldson, Ozzy Albies, Ronald Acuna, Freddie Freeman, um, uh, I could be missing somebody, uh, top of the lineup, the... Uh, Albies, the run of the Cunha. I don't remember. I know we had seven players on the Braves website. That doesn't include Max Freed and Soroka. So the Braves could be well represented in the All Star game. Now, I'm never one to play too much in the All Star game because, you know, I want to win a World Series. But that's an honor. If we could get all those guys representing, that would be great. You know, but not at the expense of getting hurt or whatever, but. That would be awesome. I know Brian Snickers gonna, was selected to be a coach in the All-Star uh, game. And I want to win. The, Nas the American League owns the National League. I don't know when was the last time we beat the American League. But, you know, we have an opportunity here in Atlanta to really do something special and to win a World Series. And coming off the Atlanta United uh, championship last year and they're continuing to get back in it, the Falcons potentially able to win a Super Bowl this year, I'm feeling really good. The Hawks progression, feeling really good that now finally these hands – all these hands can start getting some rings, and I can start getting some uh, world championship merchandise. Georgia, Falcons, Braves, Hawks, United, continue, whatever. But I'm very pleased, but the Braves, you do need to get a bullpen. You need to get some help. We got the Cubs for four games in Wrigley Field starting tonight. I know we swept them earlier this year in Atlanta. I went to one of the games, saw on video some brief moments of it. But I don't expect to sweep. The Cubs are in first place in the NL Central. Uh... They got a good team, and granted, I know the Braves are capable of going in there and taking at least three games, but right now, I'll settle for a split. I don't think the Braves should go in there and lose this series, but I believe the Braves can at least split. Maybe take three. Who knows? It's going to be an interesting series. But So I'll be checking back in with you this week. A lot of changes going on in my life. 
and uh, for the better, great. I'm, I'm never been more excited. And uh, yeah, I'll get back with you. Sports Live and ATL, David, and I'm out, y'all.